Hi, I'm Leslie McVeigh. Welcome to CTM Member Highlight. Today, my guest is Bazia. Hi. Hi. From Project Bazia. That's correct. And um, do you want to let our audience know a little bit more about what Project Bazia does, and then we'll talk about some of the things uh, you already are doing. Uh, Project Bazia is all about education mm -hmm. and how Pacific started for the South Sudanese community and then became global of. Uh, the whole content of our people who live in the United States through the system of the school, uh, especially in the high school. Mm -hmm. We try to teach them how to understand American system. That's very important. Like back in Africa, we call if you go to the party, do not dance, sit down and watch. But a lot of time, the migrant came in a different background in this country because they speak two words of English. It doesn't mean that they understand. Right. So if people who born in America still they don't understand what the system work. So Project Bazia is all about education and how to be who you are mm -hmm. and how to be succeed in the United States and be succeed in the global. That's what we're doing right now in high school here. Since I started be between uh, four years to five years, me and Arnie Smith working together. She's a retired teacher in New Hampshire and she moved here. Mm -hmm. And uh, since she moved here, she made me through different uh, education. I went mm -hmm. to school to, to prove my English better, to do a lot. Yeah. And today she's working together. But yeah. the goal of the project was is all about education and how the student to be who they are. Yeah. We are and not to coming develop to, to develop a good self esteem. Self -esteem and then yeah. to get putting them life in America in a better way. Because right. education is a key. And one of the things I keep telling people, not to tell people to have this education. When you have it in your daily life, the way you talk, mm -hmm. the way you look at things, then you became educated. Yeah. I wish when I go to apply for the job I have to present the quality of education, mm -hmm. but the quality of education correctly is supposed to be in the daily life. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's wonderful, and you're doing this great work here, but you have not forgotten your African connections, and you've recently taken a trip back to Africa. Uh, yeah, I did, because I almost a man believed today, until today, I know the politicians who make us divided, but I believe we're all from Africa. Uh -huh. That's the real uh -huh. story, and yeah. the world is such changing. So my roots came from Africa. I'm originally from uh, South Sudanese. If you go to my tribe Pacific, because African have this mentality, they still they have to ask you if you say you're from South Sudan. They still going behind which is your tribe. I'm original Alua, grew up in Wau. That's my home state because in South Sudan became a country in 2011 right. when they vote. We have ten state original. I'm not talking about what they're doing right now, right. but that's the history of South Sudan became a nation. It was ten state. I'm originally from Western Barcazal, and I'm originally uh, from South Sudan. I'm a, a Lua. But this trip took you somewhere that uh, you're not so familiar with, Yeah. to Malawi. Yeah, one of the reasons I went to Malawi, I met a good friend of mine. He's originally from Malawi mm -hmm. in Maine, and it was uh, through other friends who were talking about the Project Bazir. And uh, he was one of the teachers, I believe, in, in, uh, in South, South Portland, uh, education of South Portland, uh, part of the, the project came through that, and they told him about this a project busy. Right. So we met him on uh, Miss Poland in Marginal Way. And then we started talking, and I've never been in Malawi, to be honest. Yeah. But I was attracted by Malawi behind, and I can say it's a f younger country, or maybe the poor country in Africa. Mm -hmm. and it's just very small. Very small. Well, yeah. And I just, my heart grabbed to that, and I told him, I'm willing to go to your country. He was not even believing. And I mm -hmm. said, for my expectation of look at what I said, if I can't mean it, I don't say it. That's me. Mm -hmm. And you're working there and other places in Africa with with young women to, uh, what what is the point of this or the purpose? Yeah, the trip was to start from Boston to UK, UK to South Africa. Mm -hmm. From South Africa is part of the project to connect with other girls, to connect with other people because we write books. And especially there's a last book we did called Hippo. And we walk through that book, I've being seen the book. Uh, and Arnie Smith. It's mm -hmm. about if if the child doesn't born in America and you want to teach him English and you want to talk about this, no. We just feel like it's not making a sense. Mm -hmm. Why not we start with something when the child born, what he know. Mm -hmm. Right, that they're yeah. familiar with. Always familiar. And yeah. then later on, he can know about his known other country. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the one of the reasons we, we did that book. Mm -hmm. And this other book we did about it, talk about monkey. We use the animal in mm -hmm. that book. It's teaching a child how to be 
honest and how to be sponsored. Mm -hmm. He talk about friendship, how to understand who's your really true friend. Right. We use on that book to teach kids and how to do the job correctly mm -hmm. because you have to own it. Sometimes people, they think just a job, be there from eight to seven or whatever, it's not. What do you deliver between that hour? That's what's other book and a lot of people in the continent love it, like Malawi and South Africa. Well, they're charming books. I wish we had copies to share yeah, with the I audience. Wish, yeah, yeah, but, I um, wish, maybe all the time. Yes, um, and so one of the reasons you went was to distribute the book. The books. And and and, and Pacific was about Malawi. Mm -hmm. And we went to the village. We've been there for five days. And we met close to uh, 2,000 students. Mm -hmm. And we're expecting from this day we were there, we'll look what is going on, what is affect them. And we're thinking to support them by October. And we'll try to create a breakfast. Because really, the kids in the village are behind because it's not really any good food for them. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like if they can't feed them, yeah. how they're gonna understand yeah. it's cool. I mean, that's a major problem. Yeah, uh, the other thing, we're working me and Arne Smith to approve the, the English level through the, the teacher mm -hmm. and the grammar. And because a lot of them book write by people from Malawi. Mm -hmm. But and we just said English is international language. So if you want to approve, you can be in the level of Malawi, but you're still gonna connect yourself to America, to right. British, to make your language be approved mm -hmm. in the level of Malawi. If you go to other countries, you'll be able to speak better, how to understand mm -hmm. different accent. And you're working a lot with young girls. Is there a reason why you focused on that? Yeah, it's like uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use this chance to explain something very important for the men over the world. Mm -hmm. My mom was a woman, but we almost men have this wrong idea of the way I treat my mom different, the way I treat my woman different, but it's, it's very close. In economic, I believe it's strong, and one of the things, because if you look at the man, he almost like to talk about past. But the lady, they almost want to talk about future. Mm -hmm. So when I see what is happening in Africa, in my common sense, that's why I go back to what I just said earlier, education not to go tell people you're educated, but use that education in your daily life and where you operate, mm -hmm. the way you think, and the way you see things, what is going wrong. So I choose to help the young girl in the continent. Mm -hmm. So I have right now 23 in a different continent, That's Africa, great. Kenya, uh, South Africa, uh, South Sudan, uh, North Sudan, it used to be a two, one country, but now it became two mm -hmm. countries. Right. I have in Egypt, I have in Zimbabwe, I have in Cameroon. Uh. So I'm looking for 131. Yeah. And I hope by 2020, we need to do something in Cape Town. And we're expecting maybe you can have uh, Michelle Obama mm -hmm. or maybe Oprah or maybe Serena Williams. Because mm -hmm. those uh, African lady who succeed in the level of globally mm -hmm. in America or in other countries in the world. So I, w I will help if one of them be there in that day. Mm -hmm. That's why the time to, to make the mission or the mission statement of what mm -hmm. we need to establish through the economic is all about education and how to change from academic to mechanic, to hand job, because hand job have money. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we're gonna be really very straight and I'll be happy to, to be part of it. And I, all the girls in Africa, and I'll say to them very clear, I'm not a politician, I don't talk about religion, but I care yeah. about the young girl in Africa right. and I wish I do my best. Right. From now until 2020, we'll yeah. see whatever God gonna take us yeah. to it. And then back in this country, in this city, oh, you've Poland. just moved your right. offices to the new immigration yeah. center. And we want to tell us a little bit about the center and why you decided to move there. Yeah, the center was in a good location close to the high school. And we're there in, when they opened the ground. And the center that was there, King Center, it came there. And uh, one of the thing, it was kind of corroboration between African and, 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 and American who raised in this state, and they came out with that idea to have a place, the all migrant mm -hmm. Pacific in continent, they can go to and get help in and English. And feel welcome. Feel welcome. Know that this was There's their a place. place. Oh, for need. Right. So that's the wrong reason I accept to be there, and I wish through this we're gonna do a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, since I'm here on TV, and I make sure everybody to come to the office anytime, we, I believe we're running uh, six days in a week, only Sunday oh, we'll great. close, I believe, just in case. Great. If you need any help, yeah. you can stop by and 
Yeah. There you can ask any question, especially we're going to focus on English and mm -hmm. economic, and especially in the business. Because mm -hmm. really we need to change this community in a better way. Right. And, and this way you have collaboration with the other um, areas in the world where immigrants have come from so that that you know it's it's there's more of a that's a correct group. yeah we're gonna do something even through the uh whatsapp mm -hmm. we're gonna connect other kids in other country to make sure i did that a couple years ago when i was in philadelphia mm -hmm. you know like we have kids in high school they they have breakfast they have dinner and they see the complaint so we, we try to teach them something was very interesting we, we, we pick like 10 kids and we take them to to Haiti. Mm -hmm. When they went to Haiti, the life there is different. So they never appreciate what they have in America. Mm -hmm. That was something amazing. So through this center, we hope we're not going to focus on in the level of um, a main is going to be global just to, to motivate the kids, mm -hmm. how they are blessed in America mm -hmm. and how we can change this blessing to other people in the continent. Right. Yeah. And if people want to get in touch with you? It's 207-615-8884. Okay, that's great. And and this, as you say, the office is open six yeah, days six a day week? Yeah, six days in a week, yeah. And, and they can come at any time? Any time, because the, the purpose of the office is, like I said in the beginning, we're going to be focused more to, to make, uh, even the high school right now, we're doing something in the new uh, when the school going to be open, mm -hmm. we're going to focus how to engage the parents to understand the school system. Right. Because we find out there's a bearing of the language. And then the other challenge for the modern African community in Portland, uh, the babysitter. Mm -hmm. We're hoping to push how to get the babysitter law within the new center. Maybe we can get a lot of ladies to come there mm -hmm. to understand how the system of the high school works. Because everything now is more through the internet or right. email. For we need to engage them on that level. To I think it sounds wonderful, and um, it sounds like you're just going good. I'll try the best I can do. I was just in the radio show a yeah. couple of weeks ago. I, I keep talking, talking yeah. about it the way I'm talking, but I know yeah. we're going to get somewhere and somehow. Well, thank you so much you're for welcome. all you do. Thank you again. Okay.